Eight minutes after 7 o'clock, of course, uh, many of you have heard the bad news, the sad news yesterday from here at 87 George, that uh, longtime uh, radio morning man Kevin Nelson passed away at the age of 52. Joining us this morning is Magic 100's program director and longtime acquaintance of Kevin Nelson, Brian yes. DePoe is here. Uh, first of all, the news uh, resonated through the city yesterday. Um, I heard it in the building first of all, but in the Twitter sphere and all that uh, sort of business, you heard it everywhere yesterday when the news uh, came around. Yeah, it's big news. I mean, Kevin was uh, one of those guys. You know, he was a real icon in the local uh, uh, broadcasting field. I mean, the word icon can get overused, but in this case, it's uh, it's absolutely appropriate. You know, 19 mm -hmm. years, the number one morning show in the city. So many people woke up with Kevin Nelson. He was the first voice they ever heard on Magic 100. And, yeah. You know, he made them laugh. Uh, he made them cry. He showed up at their events. He helped them raise money. You know, he was a big, he yeah. was a big figure. He, uh, being a number one in a market for 19 years is unheard of. It really is. It, it, it's, it's, it's something that only happens once in a while. Yes, that's right. I mean, and, you know, you, you can find examples of it elsewhere, but, you know, Kevin Nelson got a lot of phone calls from a lot of other cities. Uh, from radio stations thinking, well, maybe we should try and get Kevin Nelson come and, and work here, yeah. you know, and uh, it's a testament to his loyalty to the city and the fact that he really understood what a unique thing he had going on Magic 100 as uh, well. As you well know, Brian, uh, and we've all, you know, many of us have done it, it, being in this business, radio and television is a great way to see the country. It is. Uh, and that's exactly what Kevin did. You've done it. I've done yes. it. Uh, you first met Kevin, what, in Calgary some years ago? Yeah, it was back in the 80s. You know, Kevin and I were both working in radio there, and he was the morning guy on our radio station. I was working at another station across town, and, you know, uh, it's a very social business. We'd yeah. see each other at events and so on, and we uh, we struck up kind of a, a casual friendship, and, uh, and you know, we stayed in touch with one another uh, intermittently over the years. Uh, I was in Toronto for a number of years, and uh, Kevin and I stayed in touch. And of course, I'm from Ottawa, so right. you know, whenever I came back, I'd listen to Kevin on Magic. And yeah, he was—he uh, he was really a good found guy. a home here, right? He did. I mean, we all we all uh, skirt about uh, the country and and find uh, find our niche, find our place. Right. And he really found it here. He did. Yeah. yeah. He found a home in the city, and he found a home in his favorite neighborhood in the Glebe. And yeah, you know, he he talked about living there with a great deal of pride, and he had a nice home there. Um, he also, uh, it's a pedigree, right? Because uh, his father was legendary in the radio business. His father was indeed legendary, and I, I, I had a brief working association with Jungle J. Nelson you knew, as well. You knew Jungle J? Yeah, he was, a, he was one of the legendary Toronto, you know, kind of a boss radio jock yeah. guy. And, uh, when radio was a totally different animal. It was. It was yeah. a different sounding thing, and Jungle J was one of those guys, and, and Kevin actually, uh, you know, learned at the feet of a real master. And then later on, interestingly, once Kevin's career really began to take off, uh, Jay was known to steal stuff from Kevin's shows. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> because, right. Because Kevin, Kevin got pretty good, and yeah, Jungle yeah. Jay could listen to him and go, "Geez, I think I could use that." Yeah, what uh, what some people may not know is that uh, Kevin had to to leave his job some months ago because of his health and nothing but. Yes. Uh, and unfortunately, his health uh, continued to deteriorate over a period of time. Uh, yeah. Uh, ending in his death yesterday at a uh, very young age. 52 years old, you know, that's that's the really sad and, and uh, unfair part of all of this, you know, you, you, to, to go at that point in his career when really he should have enjoyed another, you know, at least 10 years yeah. of success because yeah. that's the success you've earned from the first 20 years. That's right, in. that's right. And, and, you know, working into your 60s in the radio business, uh, as long as you're successful, yes. is not unheard of. So Absolutely. sadly, it, it came to a short end. I know you're, uh, there's tributes on Magic 100 to, to Kevin throughout the day today. There are. Uh, they're doing a whole show in tribute to him uh, this morning, and uh, we found some audio from the archives, and we're playing some old clips of Kevin talking to phone callers and giving away trips and, and so on. We're going to have Bill Parker on, his longtime uh, sidekick right. and That's good right. friend. They and worked for years together. Yeah, there's been, there have been lots of uh, postings on Facebook, lots of reminiscences, and it's yeah. going to be a nice, uh, nice morning. Well, listen, thanks for dropping by. I know it's a, a tough time uh, throughout the building and not, uh, not just upstairs in, in the radio area, throughout this building. We appreciate what Kevin had done and, uh, and his years of service to uh, this company and this community. It's fantastic. He'll be missed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you get a chance today, tune in to Magic 100 on your way to work or whatever. Uh, and uh, listen to this, uh, some of the wonderful tributes to Kevin Nelson today on that radio station. 713. We'll break right back.